about it. exciting day for our new production team. You're going to produce your first show. Are you ready, team? We sure are. We're really excited. We think we've put together a terrific show. And do we have a theme today? We sure do. Transportation. We've done lots of research and found out so many fascinating new things. And we've got a great guest, Bob Cradle, the president of the California Historical Train Association. That is wonderful. And is the studio ready to go? Yes, we've taken everything apart and put it back together again. The equipment's running so well, it just about sings. Well, if it just about sings, then it sounds like it's time to do a TV show. Good, Good luck. luck. Wow, my first national TV directing job. I hope I don't mess up. You won't mess up, Casey. You're ready for it. And you've got us to back you up. We're a team, remember? Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Billy. Billy. Hi, Hi, Ruby. Now, if any of you guys are nervous about doing the show, worry no more. Your best friends, Billy and Ruby Bagel, have just arrived from Bagelland. And we'll help you in any way we can. Thanks, Billy and Ruby. It makes me less nervous to know you're here if we need you. There's no place we'd rather be. Now, isn't it about time to get this show started? Sure is. We're on the air in 10 seconds. Stand by to roll the opening title sequence and roll it and take it. So excited! Me too. Three, two, and... Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV Show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. Hi, I'm Alexandra Paul. And I'm Erin Harvey. And, and we're, we're the Biggles! And we're all here today to entertain you with our lovely TV show. We're making it ourselves. Which makes it even more fun. Tell us, Erin, what do we have in store for our viewers today? A wonderful show all about transportation. What's transportation? Different ways of getting from one place to another. For instance, you can travel in a plane or a car or even ride a horse. Cool, I get it. Hey, is this why we've been making new videos about transportation? Yes, and that's transportation, Billy. Whatever. Can we see a video now? Sure can. Let's go to the train yard where we all got into doing the, the locomotion. Everybody. Come on. 
finish the interview segment with Lindsay. Where is she anyway? We said we would have a meeting now. Ryan, I think you're worrying too much. Lindsay's very responsible. I'm sure she's ready. Well, I feel a little funny too. I did lots of research to help her find interesting things to ask Mr. Cradle about, but I don't know if she liked what I did. Oh, Brooke, I understand. You did all this work, and Lindsay hasn't said anything to you about it. No wonder you feel funny. Speaking of research, can we go over the facts for the top 10 list again? Sure. sure. Well, so far, so good. We've only just started. How can you be so optimistic? Because everything's going great. Now will you please stop worrying about everything and give the standby to cue the host? Okay, okay. Stand by on the floor, Son. Give me a two shot with the slow push into Alex. One two shot with the slow push. Coming up when you say so. Alex, Aaron, we're coming to you in three, two, and... Some of you probably already know that the locomotive is the big, powerful engine that pulls the rest of the train wherever it needs to go. And some of you probably know what the caboose is. It's the last car on the end of the train. I know that because we went on a caboose and it was the last car on the end and end. End and end? That's what the song said. It sure did. Let's go for a ride on the Little Red Caboose. Little Red Caboose, chug, 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 Little Red Caboose, chug, 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 chug Little Red to go with them. Where is Deva? And where is Lindsay? We need to do our makeup for the interview segment. Where, where are they? they? Where is everyone today? I feel like we're making the show on our own. Me too. I guess everyone's just getting ready for all the things that we have coming up. Maybe so, but still, isn't it weird that no one's coming in to check on how we're doing? We're not going to be doing too well if we don't get Alex and Aaron into this next intro. Quick. Oops, cue the host. So far, we've shown you one way to get around, the train. Now let's look at another, the car. Cars have been around since the beginning of the century. What's a century? It's a period of 100 years. That sounds like a very long time. It certainly is. And the first cars that were built were very different from the ones we see today. How are they different? In lots of ways, early cars had running boards and fenders that were separate from the body, and skinny tires on wooden wheels like this one. How neat! That's what the Kid Songs kids thought when they went out for a ride in our next video. It's called The, the Car, Car Car Song. Lock your door and buckle up. Lock your door and buckle up. Lock your door and buckle up. Take you back in the car car. Engine it goes boom boom. Engine it goes boom boom. Engine it goes boom boom. Take you back.
too. And now let's take a look at a much more modern car for comparison. What's comparison? When you look at two different things and see what's the same about them and what's different. We want you to compare the new car in this next song with the old one in the last song. I can do that. I'm sure you can, little brother. What's the name of our next song, Alex? On the Road Again. On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Seeing things that I may never see again I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Like a band of gypsies we go down the highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world keep turning our way And our way is on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again the life I love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. It's almost time for the top ten, and before we know it, we're gonna be doing the interview and still no Dave or Lindsay. We better go look for them. Yes, we better. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, <laughs> Where have you guys been? We were getting ready for the show, but we were all supposed to get together here 20 minutes ago to go over everything. Oops, we forgot, but we were doing our jobs. Yeah, I was rehearsing and David has all the props ready. But that's not the point. We're a team and we're all in this together. And Deva, the props were supposed to be on the set already. Oh dear, it sounds like we have a problem here. Can I interrupt for a moment? Sure. sure. The best thing about doing a big project like this television show is everybody helps each other out and puts their ideas together. Because teamwork makes the show better and much more fun, too. So, why don't we all pitch in and get these props out on the set right now? Serving! I still don't get it. Where is everybody? They'll turn eventually. I've got the next song ready to go. Great, and cue Alex. So far we talked about trains and cars, but before both of these were invented, lots of people used horses to get around. That's right, you could ride them or use them to pull a carriage. In our next video, we'll go back to the Old West and see some cowboys and the Kid Songs kids using good old fashioned horsepower. Well, come along kids and listen to my tale. I'll tell you of my troubles on the old Chisholm Trail. Come and tie ya, yippee yippee yay, yippee yay. Sooner. Me too, but they were worth waiting for. Jessica, we need you in position for your top ten. Come on, let's go. Everybody stand by. Top ten list in three, two, and roll it. Hi, I'm 
Jessica Freed, and I'm going to present today's top 10 most fascinating facts. Number 10. The biggest steam locomotives ever built were the Union Pacific 4884 series. They were called the Big Boys. Number 9. The smallest biplane ever to buzz the skies is the Bumblebee 2. It was only 8 feet long with a wingspan of 5 feet 6 inches. Number 8. The rocket-powered car, the Blue Flame, is the fastest car in the world. Ten times faster than your family car on the highway. Number seven, the longest canoe is 135 feet long and takes a crew of 109 rowers to get it going. Number six, the car that was driven the furthest was a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle that went 1,512,735 miles. That's like driving to the moon and back seven times. Number five, the world's worst driver received 10 traffic tickets, drove on the wrong side of the road four times, and caused six accidents within 20 minutes. Number four, the largest tricycle is the Dillon Colossal Tricycle. Its rear wheels are 11 feet in diameter, and the front wheel is as tall as my dad. Number three, the city of Detroit, Michigan was the first place in the world to install traffic lights back in 1919. Number two, the first riverboat powered by a steam engine was launched in 1807. It was Robert Fulton's steamboat, Clermont. And the number one most fascinating fact about transportation is the first hot air balloon flight with passengers took off on September 19, 1783. The passengers were a sheep, a rooster, and a duck. And that's all. Jessica was awesome. And she used all my research. And Dave's art was great. Isn't it great when everybody works together? Sure is. Did you guys forget about us today? Sorry. It's okay. Megan, Maya, and I got through it together. But next time we'll be here to help. Thanks. Coming to the host in five, four, three, two, and... Let's take a look at another way to get around the truck. And what better song to sing in a very big truck than... Driving My Life Away. Well, the midnight headlights blind you on a rainy night. Steep grade up ahead, slow me down, making no time. But I gotta keep rolling. A windshield wiper, cipher out a tempo. Keeping perfect rhythm with the song on the radio. But I gotta keep rolling. Ooh, I'm driving my life away. Looking for a better way for me. Ooh, I'm driving my life away. Looking for a sunny day for me. Hey, Copy and, uh, one last one. Oh, well, the midnight headlights blind you on a rainy night. Steep grade up ahead, slow it out, making no time. But I gotta keep rolling. time next? Sure is. The graphic is loaded on machine A and... Roll it and take it! Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show, question time. Today, our old Lindsay Bartleson is going to interview Mr. Bob Cradle, president of the Railway and Locomotive Historical Society on question time. Thank you, Alex and Aaron. And thank you, Mr. Cradle, for joining us today. Well, thank you for inviting me. Mr. Cradle, how long have you been working with trains? Approximately 35 years although I gained my first interest with locomotives and trains when I was about six years old. What can you tell us about the history of trains? The first steam locomotives that we know of were invented about 1805, and these, of course, got more modern to the point of a locomotive much like this. This is a style of a locomotive about 1935. Now, inside the boiler is water. This water heats up and turns to steam, and the locomotive engineer pulls a throttle to cause the steam to go to these front pistons. 
way up here. Those then cause the rods to move and the wheels then turn and the locomotive goes down the track. Now, later on in years, we developed the diesel locomotive. So um, are these toys? Yes. Take a look at this one over on your right side. Cool. Look up on the roof here and give me the date that you read. 1870. This is a typical floor toy made of wood and it would have a string attached to it and children would pull this across the floor. As the wheels turned, this one had a little whistle that would make a sound as you pulled it. Cool. Later on, about 1905, locomotives much like this were very popular with children. It's heavy. This is made of cast iron. And one problem that cast iron toys had was that if you dropped it, it might break. Or break your toe. Well, that's true. <laughs> toys have always been popular. Here's a couple of examples of more modern toys, something that you might even recognize. Yes, it looks like the locomotive in our locomotion video. This is an HO gauge locomotive, and it would pull cars that would be just about the same size. So, toys are really fun, but now on to a serious note. Can you tell us kids about staying safe around trains? Do not walk on or near railroad tracks because it's dangerous and illegal. Never walk across the tracks when the red lights are flashing or the crossing gates are lowered. Always look both ways when crossing any railroad tracks and be alert for any moving trains. Those are fairly simple rules, don't you think, Lindsay? Yes. Thank you so much for coming on our show today, Mr. Cradle. And thank you for inviting me. I can't believe how much I learned about trains today. Now it's time for all of you at home to get up and exercise a little. We're heading to Billy and Ruby Biggle's studio for a workout. So let's go! Ruby and I are going to teach all you kids at home a routine you can do to one of our music videos. We picked head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Now. First, all get up and stretch like this. Ooh. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is put our hands on our heads. Good! And then, we're gonna touch our shoulders like this. Now get ready to lean down, touch your knees and toes. Great! And now do it again, the knees and toes part. Ready? Let's put it all together. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, we're ready to do it with the video. Big guy, roll the clip. All right. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. <laughs> Head and shoulders.
kiddos, that's all we have time for on the Kids Songs TV Show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. And Biggles! See ya! See ya! Bye! Yeah! All right, you guys, that was great! Wow, children, that was great. What teamwork! Indeed, it's amazing. Your first show and you're already running it like you've been working together for years. <laughs> what?